Hey, I'm excited to share with you. A lot of people are reaching out to me saying, Wayne, this is really sounds too good to be true. You can purchase a house for $1,000. Yes, you absolutely can. My name is Wayne Turner. I've been brokering real estate for 28 years, and I'm excited to share with everybody. This is a USDA loan. It's the United States Department of Agriculture. They guarantee these loans own houses for you. Now, I'm going to share with you what kind of credit score you have to have, your income you have to have, closing costs, home warranty, all that good stuff right now in this video. I promise you, you will love this. So the number one question I get is, Wayne, do I have to be a first-time home buyer? And the answer is no. You can. This could be your third home, fourth home. It doesn't matter. It's a 100% loan. The interest rates are the same as if if it were an FHA loan. They're, it's the same guidelines as FHA. It's USDA. It's the United States Department of Agriculture. Now, you do have to have a 620 or higher credit score. You do have to have two years on the job, and you do have to show proof that you've paid your taxes for the last two years. Now, the reason why they want to see taxes and they want to see your credit report and they want to make sure you got a job, they want to make sure basically you can pay for the house because the United States government is guaranteeing the loan. So these are very similar to like a VA loan. They guarantee the loan. And a lot of people say, well, Wayne, what's the maximum amount of house I can purchase? It has nothing to do with the value of the home. It has to do with your income, how much money you actually make. Now, how much money you make is going to vary. Like, for example, where I'm at in the New Orleans area, it's $110,600. You can't make over $110,600, but it's going to vary per county. You can go to the USDA.gov website. You can do a little fishing around there, and they'll show you exactly what the maximum amount of income is per your county. Now, please listen to me here. It does vary. If you're one person, single, a married couple, you have two dependents, like two children, so what they classify as a family of four or less, it's $110,600 in this area of New Orleans. However, if you're a family of five or more, for example, you're a family, you got four kids or three kids, and it's you and your spouse, that bumps up to over $140,000 in income that you can make to purchase a house like this. Look, when I say income, and I'm going to walk you around this house, and I'll walk you through it here in just a second. So we'll just talk about the house, talk about, you know, features of a home, plus how you can purchase a house like this. But listen, it's income. So people ask me, and I made the mistake the other day in a video, I said it's your adjusted gross. It's not. I was corrected, and I do stand corrected. It's not your adjusted gross income, meaning that it's not what you earn less what goes out with dependents and all that. It's actually based on income. Now this can be a good thing for some of you and not so good for others because you can't take $140,000 and back stuff out. They go off just your income. So for example, in my area, if you're a family of four, you can't make over $110,650. That's what your employer pays you and that's what they go off of. Now, as I'd mentioned, to be able to purchase a house like this, we as real estate brokers get your closing costs paid for you. Sellers pay your closing costs. We even get them to most of the time throw in a home warranty for you, which is really cool. And those home warranties cover all the components on the property that are the most expensive to fix. For example, your refrigerator, your stove, your dishwasher, heating and air systems, water heaters, all of that good stuff can be covered if you purchase a house like this. And once again, you don't have to be a first time home buyer. You can be a pre-existing home buyer. You can sell your home and then purchase another home this way. Or if you've owned a home in the past, say you had to short sell a home, say you filed bankruptcy, say you lost a home to foreclosure, there's different limitations and limits on that. You can go to contactwayne.com. We'll reach out to you. We'll explain all that. But bottom line is you owe it to yourself to at least take a look at this because these are government loans that they've been doing for years. Now, as I mentioned, I've got agents. I'm part of an organization. We're 90,000 agents. I work with the largest real estate brokerage company. We do more sales and transactions and have more agents than anybody in the country. And we're proud of the fact that we can help so many people. That's the ultimate goal. We think that home ownership doesn't have to be that difficult. It does not have to be that hard. We make it simple. We make it easy. We make it fast. You can literally get approved and purchase a house like this and be in your home in the next 30 days. I had a gentleman the other day say, Wayne, I filed chapter seven. I've been out of a bankruptcy for two and a half years can I buy a house this way the answer is yes I think it's important to know that because if you've been out of a bankruptcy at least two years and two years from your discharge date if you file bankruptcy you know that discharge date is when basically the judge signs off on everything and you're good to go literally two years from that date you can purchase a house like this it goes under the same FHA guidelines so if you're out there if you don't want to buy a house this way you actually want to put some money down on the property you're more than welcome to do that you can purchase a house like this only cost you three and a half percent to put down on FHA or USDA is $1,000. And listen, the $1,000, that's basically to cover your home inspection. 
it's no money out of pocket if you don't want to get it inspected, but I would never advise that. Now, I always tell everyone, get the home inspected. That way you lay your head on the pellet night, you've had it inspected, that inspection is gonna go over everything on the property and then they're gonna give you a report and the report you can share it with the seller and say, hey, I still wanna buy your house, but could you fix these things before I take ownership of it? And I can promise you 95% of the sellers fix a lot of the things. It's not like cosmetic, but anything that's not working to its intended function. Listen, a home inspection typically is gonna run you four to $600. The appraisal on the property is gonna run you $400. The appraisal is different than the home inspection. The home inspection, the home inspector inspects the property. They'll spend three to four hours at the home and they'll tell you what's wrong and what's broken and what looks good. The appraiser comes out and appraises the property based on comparable sales within a three mile radius of the subject property that you're looking to purchase. And they will tell you and tell the bank, the mortgage company, hey, this home is worth what they're willing to pay for it. Because the bank, the mortgage company, they're loaning you money to secure that asset. And they bottom line, just wanna make sure you're not overpaying for the property. So that's why I say $1,000. Otherwise it's a 100% loan, but you gotta have a little bit of skin in the game for your protection to make sure one, it's inspected. And then two, you're not overpaying for a property that you really want. Something else, and I think this is really important for people to know, is that if you close on a house, for example, at the first of the month, the fifth or sixth or seventh or eighth, you don't have a mortgage payment for 60 days. Like for example, if you were to close on the house on April the 1st, well, if you close on April 1st, you don't have a mortgage payment for April or for May. You don't have a mortgage payment until June 1st. And that just comes in handy whenever you're trying to calculate and adjust for moving expenses and your renting and your last month's rent and getting your deposit back. So you got a little bit of floating time there, if you will. I think that's really important to know. Another great question that people ask is, Wayne, is there any recapture period? In other words, is there any period of which time that I have to pay money back or pay the money back? No, there's not. You can actually live in this house if you wanted to. You purchase a house just like this. As long as you live in it for two years, if you were to live in it for two years, sell it and make a profit, the profit's yours, it's your money. Even though it was 100% loan, but you gotta keep in mind, it's a 100% loan. So you may not profit as much keeping it for two years, but it's important to know that if you keep a house for two years, you don't have to pay taxes on any money that you gain. As long as you're $250,000 or less if you're single and $500,000 or less, and that's gain if you're a married couple. And look, I know all of that sounds like a lot of information, but that's why it's important to have a good real estate broker to work in for you on your behalf. And that's what we do around the country. It's what we've been doing for years is we walk people through, we show you a house, we show you what you can do to make improvements on a home. Like for example, I'll show you, this is a garage in this house. And one thing that you can do to really improve a garage is to physically paint everything, including the floor. I did a video on that where it's like, you can, for 250 bucks, you can make this floor to like this really cool shop with this great paint and you could paint everything. And then it just makes the house look that much more cleaner, neater, desirable. And listen, when it's clean, it's neat and desirable, they're the fastest to sell and for the most amount of money. This home I'm walking you through is a three bedroom, two bath house. There's three bedrooms on that side. It's got a huge big living room, as you can see, wood burning fireplace. It's all brick, got this really cool little wet bar area here. There's homes like this all around the country. We have lenders to get you approved. We have agents to get you in a house. And like I said, it only takes about 30 to 60 days to buy a house this way. So it's important to know that you reach out and at least find out. You know, the answer is always no unless you ask. And there's no cost and no obligation to at least go to contactwayne.com. I will call you back personally, spend five to 10 minutes on the phone with you, connect you with a lender, connect you with an agent, you can purchase a house like this literally in the next 60 days. I'm Wayne Turner. Thank you for watching. Give us a thumbs up. Let us know if you like this video and leave a comment if you yourself have purchased a house through this USDA program because when you've purchased a house this way and you let others know, it gives others hope that they too can purchase a house just like this one.